Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm super happy you're here. So I'm going to show you guys my nails. Like I said, this hand is not horrific. Um, there's a lot of over filing um, and they're short. This hand is about the same except this finger. I think I bruised the tip or I don't even know. It is just so horrific to look at. I cannot stand it. So that is why I'm really trying to work on the health. So I'm going to use either both of these chromes in this video or just one of them. I'm not sure yet. Well, I wasn't sure at this point. Now I know I just used the pink one. I'm going to use these mermaid stickers that I got off Timu and then these dips from Born Pretty. I have like a lilac -y color, a darker purple and a really pretty blue. And I'm going to do three triple ombre nails with the, with all three of those colors and two solids with the lighter pink purple. I'm going to start off on the pinky and the middle finger doing the two light purple colors because those are the colors that I'm going to do the sticker nail art over. And I do things a little different in this video than I normally do, um, but I guess we'll talk about that more towards the end because, yeah, we'll talk about that more at the end. But right now, yeah, I'm just dipping these and then we're going to get into the triple ombre, which was really fun um, and turned out so much better than I thought it would. So I'm going to start with the blue down at the cuticle area and I'm basically trying to kind of do this in a reverse French kind of look because I want it to kind of almost look like a peekaboo that you would do with glitter, except it's with a solid. Um, I hope that makes sense because um, I'm just kind of trying to go around the cuticle and then the other two I'm trying to do more of a blended ombre. I hope I, I hopefully that makes sense. I am using the same brush throughout but I'm I have a color swatch off to the side that I take the brush and kind of like dust it off or clean it off in between colors and that way I'm not cross contaminating colors. Um, I the lilac -y, doesn't really matter if it gets into the darker purple, but obviously I don't want the darker purple in the blue or the blue in the purples. So yeah, I'm, I take it off screen every single time. Sometimes I edit it out so you don't really see that, but that's what I'm doing. So now we'll get into the second nail and I'm going to do it the exact same way as I did the first nail. And then after they sit for a minute, I think I or maybe I do that on the second layer. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. But this was rather easy to do and they turned out really good. And I do chrome over these two at the, well, after I'm done with all of this, you'll see. And then the thumb, I do the same exact thing on, but I do not leave it on camera just because two nails is enough. I mean, it's this exact same process that I do with the other two. I love mermaid nails and I can't believe I haven't done them yet, but I did do another set. So you'll see that at the end and that is using nails in a coffin decals and it turned out really good. And the decals I got last May in my bundle and they are still to this day so easy to use. The application was great. The decals have not like distorted or the colors are vibrant like the, I was very impressed the fact that they are a year old and they still worked great and I'm hoping that that is a trend and they will still work great a year or two in the future because I cannot even tell you the amount of decals I have overall is insane but just from nails in a coffin is crazy and I keep ordering more <laughs> like so um, hopefully they have a very long shelf life because otherwise I'm wasting a lot of money. But this gives me hope because like I said, the decals that I use on my right hand, which you'll see at the end of the video because, um, it's going to be on my hand, obviously, um, worked great. Anyway, we are on the second layer now and I'm reversing the way that I put the dips on. So, I do the purple first and then the the light purple, <laughs> they're both purple, the lilac -y purple, and then I will go in and do the blue. And then what I do different on this one is I will let the, because it is the odorless liquids and they kind of absorb that powder and then they kind of get a little bit wet on top again. Not 
too bad um, depending on how thin the dip is that you're using. Um, but I will let them sit. I did let them sit for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to pat the colors down to kind of blend them together. So I do the dark purple and then the blue because those are the two darker colors. And then I will also go in and do the lilac-y color um, as well. And I'm just trying to kind of blend them together. And I think that worked great and helped them kind of have a more seamless blend so they didn't look like a, a splotchy color block. You guys will have to let me know what you think when you see them at the end. But I've been doing ombres like that and it's been working really well. So I'm going to do this nail and then clear cap, activate, file, buff off camera. And when I'm done with all of that, we will talk about the next steps. But for right now, I'm going to let you guys watch me finish this up and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, we are filed and buffed and we are ready for the next steps. So uh, we are gonna use, oh, actually, sorry. First, we're gonna go in with activator. And originally, and usually what I do is I activate, I will use my nails in a coffin sticky base and coat this all over the nails, chrome them, and then I will top it with a odorless dip base or dip top coat. I did that, but for some reason I was losing the chrome. It was distorting it. So I redid the chrome. I had to file everything off, redo it. And this is my second attempt and we'll talk about what I do as I do it. So I'm going to, like I said, coat each nail with the nails in a coffin sticky base you can use any kind of foil glue will work um and obviously gel works i can't use gel we all know that so well maybe you don't if you're new which if you're new hi welcome <laughs> i'm jill and i hope you are enjoying this if you like this video please like and subscribe and yeah so we'll go on to the chrome so i did do that to every nail but i only showed to just repetitiveness and now I'm going to take the chrome and the first thing I do is kind of dab it all over to make sure the entire nail has chrome on it and then I will go in and I will kind of start rubbing the chrome in. Um, and I will do that the same thing on every single nail. So I think I only leave the first two nails in. I cannot remember. I guess we're about to find out but I think I only show you guys 
show me, blah, blah, chroming the pinky and the ring finger so that you can see what it looks like to chrome a solid nail and the ombre nail. And then we will do the next steps after that. I'm going to let you guys watch me chrome this nail and I will be right back. That went a lot quicker than I thought it would. I am just kind of dusting off if there's any extra chrome pigment on. And then I decided I was just going to use my nail polish top coat. This is SE Gel Couture. It's not a gel. Um, and I was just going to basically uh, use this as a, well, originally I was just going to use it as kind of a protectant for the nails and then go in with my dip top coat. But then I decided because it looked really good. I'm just wearing these for, you know, a hot second, which I was going to put these on to wear them for a couple days, uh, but that didn't work out. And I'll talk about that in a second. So this is my top coat. I do not go in with the top coat, but typically you could put this on, let it dry, give it, I don't know, about five minutes. It, it, take, it does take less time than that, but I just, I always give it about five minutes just to make sure and then go in with activator and dip top coat. That is fine. I've done that several times. It works great. Um, but initially, or at the end of the day, I just decided to leave it as the top coat. And then I went in with the stickers over that. So typically I would do activator stickers and then I would go in and do, uh, basically a clear cap, but not with clear, but with dip base. But these are like, thick stickers. They're, they're like the 3D or 5D or whatever. Um, and lately when I've been trying to do that, when I've been trying to top coat the stickers, it kind of just takes away from the sticker look. So I decided I would just put the stickers on the top coat. This would not work well if you were wearing the nails for more than a day or two, because the stickers are going to come off. Like they're just, they are. Um, but because I knew I was only going to wear these for a very short time, which much shorter than I initially planned, I wasn't too worried about it. Um, I thought there was a piece of hair in, or fuzz in the sticker, but it was really on the nail. So I had to get that off. Um, but these stickers are so pretty. They're like little shells. I love the look of them. And I think they actually looked really good, not top coated because it kind of just left the look of the sticker alone. And then I'm going to go in with this really pretty mermaid tail. It matched the triple ombres almost perfectly, which is what made me come up with the colors for the triple ombre was the blue, the more, it's almost like a silver purple in the middle and then a darker purple at the end of the tail. And I loved it. And then this stickers also have these like little bubble thingies. Um, there are some that are 3d and some that are flat the flat ones are more of like a holographic color and the bubble ones are more clear. So I don't, I really liked the look of that. It kind of gave it like, like there was bubbles, like, you know, the tails flipping in the water and there's bubbles coming up. So I thought it was really cute. So I added those, um, and they looked good. So I was planning on, like I said, putting these on with maybe like a little bit of glue and a sticky tab or whatever so that they would stay on for a couple days just because I love mermaid nails so much and I really wanted to wear them but when I went to put this finger this nail specifically on my finger I don't know if I grabbed and sometimes this happens the wrong size but I always size them so it just doesn't make sense anyway something had happened to that nail and it was like really big on my middle finger. So I tried to like kind of squeeze it in a little bit and it cracked. So then I decided I was just going to put these on with tabs and sticky base or peel base and then take them back off after pictures, which is what I did, but they still turned out really cute. And you can 
see my right hand a little bit. After I do the cuticle oil, I'll show you a better look of the right hand, but that's with the decals. And like I said, they're a year old and they worked fantastic. No complaints. And the they're so bright and so beautiful still. So I was really, really happy about that. We are pretty much wrapped up though. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and like my mermaid nails and my triple ombre nails and my chrome nails and all of the things. If you did like it, it would help me so much if you would give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I would love to have you join my channel and see when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye.